Or all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahshai, the bonus of the elders and apostles, that great millstone who rule well. <clears throat> so, um, so hopefully, like brother, not there pushing his word throughout the four corners of truth and sincerity. And this uh, lesson is going to be on having one mind, you know, being in, uh, being being having one mind in this thing, this body, okay, in this ministry that we got going, being uh, 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 on one mind, being one mind, one accord, okay, being on point, you know, and there's a lot of things that go into that, you know. Staying focused, communication, reading, studying, looking up shows, doing everything you need to do, blocking it out, all the BS. This is it's things you need to do to be on one mind. You know, Lord willing is edifying, and in uh, this video is edifying uh, to the body. You know, this is the book of uh, Philippians. Philippians 1, 10, says Paul and Tim, to me, Timothy's, God, no, this is Philippians 2, 1, I'm going to read, it says, if there be, if there be therefore any consolation in you, Mashiach, if any comfort of, of love, if any fellowship of the spirit, is, if any bowels and mercies, says, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Yeah, so be, we got to be on one accord and one mind in this thing, okay? One accord and one mind. Or with doctrine, how to treat each other, okay? Fellowshipping on the scriptures, you know, uh, 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 that's one mind. We can't just have brothers thinking the same things and believing in the same things, you know? Uh, when uh, well, you gotta catch, you know, in the beginning and stay rooted, uh, uh, cause brothers gonna be tested from higher ups or what they believe in in the beginning, anyways. You know. So then after that, you get rooted, stay in one mind of what you was taught. You know, don't be bringing no other stuff into this truth. No other religions, uh, other beliefs, have one mind. You know, like Esau got on the left hand side that mental telepathy. You know, thinking uh, what somebody else thinking, then you know they pop up, whatever. You know, we're, we're uh, spiritual with us because you know we're we're we we know uh, everything about each other. Because previously in the past life we knew each other. You know, verse three says, "Let nothing be done." Through strife or vainglory, but in holy like in lowliness of mind, let each esteem each other better than themselves. Yeah, so that's what that's what when guys think of some other doctrine or some belief, and they not in one mind no more. It's for vainglory. It's for strife. Guys would branch off because they couldn't continue in the things they were learned. They couldn't stay on one one and stay in one mind with everybody else. It's cause that's what it's for that's that's why that's what it is. It was for contention and strife. You ain't supposed to do nothing in contention or strife. Yeah, if you do that you're going off. And you might not know you're doing it, but you're doing it. You know? You know, Lord willing, you know, brother, stay one-minded, kingdom-minded. You know, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahshai, Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Con, so... We don't want that division because brothers need to stay on stay on one accord. If we're not on one accord, it's going to be a division. And it's going to cause schisms, you know. And that's things that that can that need to be checked in the, uh, right away. We're not letting the things continue and build up. 
in the body. He says, they said, they said that he'd be perfectly joined, you know? You gotta be perfectly joined to get this, because we're all a body. We're all, all the body have to be working together, okay? The mind tells the body what to do, okay? And these scriptures tell us what to do, okay? It was the comforter, Yahweh Shai. You know, when we follow this, we one minded with the doctrine and these scriptures will be good and everything will fall in line. And you're praying about it, you know. Let me get this in the book of uh, Second Timothy. Timothy, this is uh Second Timothy. Kind of Second Timothy two. Kind of get this two and fifteen. Let me see. Oh yeah, kind of. I'll get it. Two Second Timothy two and sixteen. Locking. It reads, it says, or 15, to study to show thyself approved with, unto the Most High, workmen that needed not to be shamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Hey, there we go. <laughs> you know, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay, we rightly divide it, man. You should stay on that, you stay one mind, you have that one mind, you know. You rightly, because if you rightly divide it, ain't nothing room for nothing else. You got to rightly divide it. You know, if you don't divide it right, you're going to bring in, you're going to think of some other, other stuff, man. The earth is flat, all of that madness. So if you go uh, uh, and be tedious in what you've learned and continue and practice what you learn, you can stay one-minded with the doctrine. Stay rooted. You know, not going, going and preaching other things on the side that uh, you got a new, crazy, spectacular breakdown. No, man. Uh, rightly divided, you know. You can't. You gotta rightly divide it, man. Cause this thing is the truth. You know, we we got everything we needed to know. Okay. It says, "Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needed not to be ashamed." Rightly dividing the word of truth. I kind of just read it. It says, "But shun profane and vain babbling, for they." Will increase into more ungodliness, and that's going into, uh, you know, how to how to be your mannerisms, you know, in this thing, you know, talking too much, you know, and being vain. Okay, but well, we're in one mind, you know, we're we're staying one mind with 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 uh, doctrine, with with the brothers, and how to act, you know, being being a man of the Lord. Okay, then you stay uh, focused, you stay one mind. No, you you're you're in that tunnel vision, you know. The be on one mind with everybody around you, you know. Saying so don't be, don't be thinking thinking that uh, you know more, or you know less, you know. Just know what you need, know 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 your weaknesses, know your weaknesses, and get try to practice and get better at them, you know. And then know your strengths, and then 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 uh, get better at your strengths, you know. That's how that goes, man. And then pray that that the Lord increases your faith. You know, and you, and really, when you stay, uh, when you have one mind in the doctrine, and you stay rooted, uh, you, the Lord will increase you, man. That's why we got the Passover to pray for things that we need, or get better at, be thankful. You know, and then that's what it, that's going it's going to come down to at the end of the time. Are you one minded? Are you uh, solely focused? When you're getting tested on that at, during Jacob's trouble. Are you one-minded with everybody else around you? Or do you secretly believe in something else? But you're just trying to uh, 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 be in this thing for your own purpose. There's things you got to ask yourself, you know. Hey, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I want to say all praise to you. How about you, Marshai? The elders and apostles. Great millstone, Shalom.